Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing well and having a good day. Uh, today we are going to be making another practical bash script here to uh, do a certain function, uh, which is going to be dimming my monitors every evening at say, you know, between 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I want to dim my monitors and I also want to adjust the gamma on them to be a little bit more yellow and less blue. Um, and this is something that you'll find in most desktop environments or like on phones too, uh, with like a night night mode or night color. I don't know what they call it. Um, and of course, you know, DWM is very minimalist, so it doesn't have this by default. Um, and I don't want to like install an application for it from the uh, AUR or whatever, since I could just make a 15 minute bash script to do it for me. Uh, so essentially what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk through how we're going to make this script and then I'm going to show the script I've made. Uh, so that you can learn from the process of making a script for something like this, uh, just because there's a lot of like practical applications that really make sense to just use a script for, right? So to break it down, the, the two things that I'm going to need to do here is, first of all, uh, actually adjust the monitor brightness in gamma. So uh, I want to use a utility to do that. Uh, and then second of all, I need to be doing it at specific times of day. So what I'm going to use for that is going to be cron jobs uh, with a cron tab. So I will get to both of those. Um, to start off with, the utility to adjust the monitor brightness in gamma is just going to be xrandar. Uh, and if you don't have that, just get it with xorg uh, xrandar, I believe it's called, at least for arch repos there. Yep, xorg xrandar. Um, and if I just run xrandar by itself, uh, it is going to show me some info about my monitors here. So. I've got DisplayPort 2, which is this main monitor here. Uh, that's connected. It's my primary monitor. It shows me the resolution. It shows me possible resolutions. I also have an HDMI uh, connected as well. And it'll show me, you know, if I had a DVI monitor connected at some point, uh, it'll show me I had that, but now it's disconnected. Okay, cool. So that's the basic XRandar output. Uh, but if I do man XRandar here, You'll see, okay, we actually have way more features available than just that. What I'm specifically going to focus on today is going to be gamma and brightness. Um, I don't see brightness, it's here somewhere. Uh, but gamma, so gamma uh, with RGB values. Oh, and brightness is right next to it, I'm blind. Um, so I want to set brightness and gamma uh, with this command. So for example, what I could do is I could do xrandar uh, dash dash output uh, display port dash two here. Uh, and I can do dash dash brightness, and I could do, you know, for example, 0.9, that's what I typically have it on. Um, I could also change it to, you know, 0.7 if I wanted that. I don't think you'll see any change in the video here, but my monitor in real life is now dimmer. Um, I could put it back in 0.9. Uh, and then the next thing I can do is dash dash gamma, uh, and then I can put an R, a G, and a B value, red, green, and blue. So I could do 1.0, 1.0, and 1.0. And that's going to be the default there. Uh, or, you know, if I wanted a bit less blue, I could do 0.9 there. And now it's going to be a lot yellower. Again, you probably cannot see that on the video, uh, but my monitor is now yellower. I switched that back, actually. So that is brightness and gamma. Um, now, there is a separate utility called X gamma, which essentially could do the gamma job for me here. But in this case, this is this is kind of an obsolete utility, um, especially considering I can just do the gamma directly in xrandar, so I don't really need to use that here. Um, so that's the actual display dimming uh, and gamma part. Uh, and then the second part I said is that we're going to have to use a cron job here to set uh, this command to run at specific times. Now, I'm not going to just run this command. I'm going to make a script so that I can actually set various values for this brightness and gamma. Uh, but lo just looking at cron jobs here. So first of all, uh, if you're on Arch or anything Arch based, you don't have uh, cron jobs by default. You don't have a cron utility installed by default. So you can just get uh, crony, for example. Uh, there's a few other options you could go and get whatever you wanted from that. Um, if you're on another distro, you might already have a cron utility by default. Um, and if you're using systemd as your init system, just sudo systemctl enable dash dash now crony after installing it, and that'll go ahead and enable it for you. And then to edit your cron tab, cron tab dash e. Uh, now, cron tabs are specific to the user account. So this is my personal user account bread uh, that's the commands that's going to run for that user account. I have a separate cron tab for my root account, and that would run commands as root. Uh, so it's just important to note you have a distinct cron tab for each account. Um, 
so you can see here, all right, the most obvious thing is going to be, all right, I'm running this script uh, with some fields on it. Uh, that's what I'm actually running there. But then you might be a little bit confused at this. And this is just telling, okay, what time are we going to run this script? So it's just minutes, hours, days of the month, months of the year, and days of the week. And you can see these last three here are stars, meaning just run it every single day, every month, every day of the week. And the first two fields, okay, these are all zero, meaning I want it to run on the hour. Um, and then this is 20, uh, and it uses 24 hour time. So zero through 24. Uh, so 20, eight o'clock, this is going to run this at eight o'clock. And you can see I have it using my dimmer script here, which I'm going to show in just a minute. Uh, it's using my dinner, dimmer script and it's got specific fields on it so that it's slowly dimming the monitor instead of doing it all at once. Um, and the night option here is just, that's going to, that's going to be what's setting the gamma mode that I want for uh, night. So now if I go actually show the script here, uh, and of course, it, after you modify your cron tab, you'll, you'll just want to write it out and make sure you've uh, written it, and you can also view it with cron tab l uh, if you wanted to see what's going to be running for it. Anyway, so back to the script. Um, of course, I have a shebang for bash. Uh, it's a bash script. Uh, this line here is very important, and you, this will not run uh, in your cron tab if you don't have it. Uh, this is saying, okay, export the display variable uh, as zero here, so it actually recognizes and runs this on my displays, because otherwise, uh, cron would get confused uh, and not know where to run it. Uh, now you can actually set this up in cron itself. Like I could set it up in that cron file, but uh, in my opinion, it's easier and cleaner to just do it in the script here. So that's the first part. And the next part is I have variables defined for both of my monitors. Uh, so I could just quickly edit it there if I changed monitors or whatever. Um, next, I have a function for a notification. So uh, when I actually go run this script here, if I do dimmer nine, for example, it'll send me a notification saying brightness adjusted there. Um, and so that's just going to tell me when it adjusts the brightness. And not really strictly necessary, but nice to have. Why not? Right. Um, so notify send is just the command I'm using there. Uh, T3000 is just going to do 3000 milliseconds. So it's going to um, be a three second notification. Uh, I'm setting the background color for the string with the yellow there, uh, and it's just going to say brightness adjusted. So that's the function for the notification. Um, now, I specifically wrote this in and commented out because I wanted to show there's a couple ways to do the next thing. Now, you'll notice uh, in that cron tab, and then if I actually run this dimmer command here, um, I can put 9, for example, and that's going to put it at 90% brightness. Um, like I said, you're not going to be able to see changes on the monitor. Uh, itself or in the recording, but I can actually see it in real life here on the monitor. Um, I could do dimmer eight and that's going to be 80%, uh, etc. Right? So the first thing that we need to do is say, all right, so if you recall, X Randar actually takes those values in a 0 0.9, 0 0.8, etc. Um, I didn't want to have to remember that for the dimmer command. So I just wanted to, you know, just have a plain number, right? So we're going to actually convert that number that I'm giving it to a zero point. Uh, so what we're saying here, and let me first show you the uncommented version of this, since this is sort of the um, the way you would do it if you just sort of thought, okay, how can I do this, right? So this is just an if statement saying if dollar sign one, which is the first field of input there. So if that first field is equal to 10, uh, then the percent is just one and percent is a variable here. Uh, and that's what I'm feeding the X render script. So um, it's just going to feed, all right, if uh, the value is 10 there, then it's just going to feed it to xrandar uh, as brightness is 1. Uh, or if the value is not 10, so anything less than 10, so 9, 8, 7, 6, etc., then it's going to set the percent variable to be 0 point and then, you know, 9 or 8 or whatever, right? So I could just do this as an if statement here, uh, which is one way to do it. I'm going to recomment this here. But what I'm actually doing here is ultimately the same thing, but instead of using an if statement, I'm just using uh, operators to say, okay, if that first field is equal to 10, uh, then the percent is going to be one. So uh, double and just means, okay, if that first part is true there, then the percent is equal to one. Uh, double pipe is just an or saying, or if it's not true, then the percent is going to be zero point, And then that first field. Um, so that is, there's just, 
I don't, I'm not going to say that one of these ways is the correct way to do it. Uh, I more just wanted to show that there are different ways to do things in Bash scripts. There are multiple ways to do the same thing. Uh, and I think that's an important lesson uh, in Bash specifically and other languages, but in Bash specifically, just so if you have something that you feel like is kind of a clunky way to do it, it's worth trying to figure out, well, I might have a better way to do it. So the second field is just going to be, I just made it arbitrarily the word knight. Uh, so if I write knight as the second field, and you saw that in the cron tab, um, if I write knight as the second field, if that's true, if that's written, then I want to set the gamma with a adjusted value for green and then for blue. Uh, so slightly less green and slightly less blue, so that way it's a much yellower tint to the monitor. Um, or if the word knight is not written there, then gamma is just going to be 1.0 on everything on R, G, and B. Uh, so that way, you know, pretty much not adjusted there. And then finally, we get to actually using those x render commands. So it's just going to say x randar with the output for the monitor one variable um, is going to have brightness uh, with the percent here that was defined. Um, and then it's going to have gamma uh, with the gamma defined here. Um, and honestly, now that I'm looking at this, I could probably just make this ultimately, uh, if the gamma is not written, then just don't even put the gamma there. Uh, but you know, you can always, you can always improve bash scripts. And of course, you know, feel free to tell me more ways to improve this if you wanted to. Um, and then it's just, it's just gonna, once that is completed with the double and there, so after this first command completes, uh, run the same thing, but with monitor two. Uh, and then after both of those are done, send the notification to me. Um, so that is essentially, this is what's running every time I have it run in that cron tab. Uh, and you can see if I go back into the cron tab here, okay, I'm just having it run this dimmer script and I have made this script executable, just so you're aware. Uh, so it's running the dimmer script uh, with a value. And then the final three here are putting it in the night gamma mode. So it's a more yellow tint. Uh, and I, I also have it run at 6 a.m. here just to reset it back to uh, normal, like, day-level brightness. Um, so that is how I have this set up to solve this, um, well, I don't want to call it a problem, but accomplish this task that I want to accomplish here. Uh, of course, you know, you could probably think of many other ways to do this. Uh, feel free to comment some other ways to do this if you wanted to. Um, but hope you learned something in this video, both about how to accomplish this, but really more specifically kind of how to think through creating a script like this to solve a problem that you have or accomplish a task. Um, and yeah, so hope you learned something. Hope you got something out of this video and I will see you next time. Peace.